Hey guys, what's up? Tamara here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the book You by Caroline Kepnes. This is the first time I've read anything by Caroline Kepnes and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So let's jump right on in. First off, this book is about Joe and Beck. Joe and Beck meet in a bookstore that Joe works in and Joe is completely taken with Beck and from that point he believes that Beck can do no wrong. Beck is the walking on water. She is the person at the top and there's nothing that anyone can do to knock her down and he becomes obsessed with Beck like in the worst way obsessed. You know that movie um, with Glenn Close and Michael Douglas I think it's called um, Fatal Attraction, yeah, that movie, this, what that movie did for men <laughs> is what I feel like this book should do for women. Joe is a person you never want to encounter in your entire life. He is the guy you never accidentally want to date. He is the guy you never want to really meet at all. I mean, this guy is a psychopath, like he um, has problems. And he really just becomes obsessive about Beck. Whomever he's dating, he becomes obsessive about to the point where he takes Stalker to a whole new level. He is um, infiltrating her emails, stealing her phone, communicating as other people through their social media accounts, acting as other people, you know, sending messages out on their social media accounts like Twitter and Facebook and things. I mean, so. What I liked about this story is while Joe is clearly insane and Beck has her own problems, um, she is very egotistical, she's very um, young and self-indulgent, and she has a lot of problems on her own. And that is probably lent, that probably lends to the fact why she was so easily taken in by Joe, how she was able to be manipulated by Joe. But you know, even with all that going on, I feel like the realistic part of this story was the stalking part with society today and how we do with tweeting everything, checking in on Facebook, all these random things that we do, hashtag this, hashtag that, post a photo here. I mean, he was able to get away with a lot using social media. And that was really realistic with how most of us to, in today's day and age use social media. So that was really creepy. That creeped me out a little bit like, wow. That's the thing about Joe. It's like when you think he would go so far, he surprises you and he goes one or two steps further. And that is another thing I liked about this book is like, while you expect it to be crazy because Joe is crazy and it's pretty evident from out the gate, we know he's crazy, but you know, he's always able to keep you on your toes. You think one thing and he goes even further. He pushes an envelope. And the same with Beck's character. You know, you think one thing about her and then you find out something and you're like, wow, this chick, she's crazy too. This chick is nuts. Like, you know, she has so many hidden secrets going on and it's almost ironic that she ends up dating this kind of guy. And she pays the price for dating this guy and getting involved with Joe ruins many lives. And it's really insane. And I know I've said that a couple times, but it's true. I don't want to get into too many situations that happened in the book because I really want to try to keep this as spoiler free as possible because believe me, when you read this book, you don't want to be spoiled. You really don't. You want every nuance, you want every shocking moment, you want in every oh my god moment because there are few of them. You're just reading and you'll be like, oh my god, what is happening? There are a few of those or oh my god, that is just, ah, that's disgusting. <laughs> There are a few of those too, and I don't want to take any of that away from you. So with that said, what would I rate you by Caroline Kepnes? I would rate it 5 out of 5 bookmarks. You guys know I do not give away 5 bookmarks very easily or freely. The author has to work for them. And I have to be drawn in on every level for me to give a 5. I have to like the characters, the writing style, the plot. All of those things need to fall into place, the pacing, it all needs to fit like a puzzle in this, and it does in this case. And speaking of the writing style, this is a way of writing that I've never read, or if I have, it's been a really, really long time, so long that I don't even recall it. It's told from Joe's point of view, the entire book is from his point of view. So when he's thinking to himself, he gives these 
funny and sort of obnoxious commentaries on people that come into his bookstore. You know, he thinks, oh, you read Dan Brown, X, Y, Z, or how dare you act like you want to read that book. Or, you know, he's kind of a book snob, and I find that funny as well. But, you know, he gives these commentaries on people in his mind, and then you get to see what he's thinking as far as when he's talking to Beth or other people around. And it's just... I don't know at first I kept waiting for like the point of view to change I thought I would get Beth's point of view at some point but we don't this whole thing is through Joe's eyes and it could be only told this way it's for you to really understand how much is wrong with Joe if it was told any other way I don't think you would fully understand the level of crazy that this character is and that's like even more interesting to me is how does the author come up with these kind of characters how does she think up Joe or Beck or any of the other crazy characters in this book because there are at least one or two other characters that you will be like oh, <laughs> what maybe three characters you'll be like what is going on anyway this book was really good and I recommend it if you like books that push the limit a little bit if you like books that are borderline dark um, if you like books that will keep you on your toes, you know, and while we all know, like in this case, we know that Joe is clearly crazy. We clearly know he is a psychopath, um, but it's not black and white. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of gray and it makes you kind of wonder about Joe's history, how he got to be this way. Um, what were his motivations? It's, it's a great book for conversation so I definitely recommend this for a book club if your book club is into reading genre fiction this will be right up your alley we met last week and we had tons of great conversation on this book it was lively it was energetic it was um, bold we all had thoughts on Joe and Beck and their friends and like their situation in general and we just all, we had a great time talking about this book so I would definitely recommend this for you as an individual and if you're a part of a book club. Now as far as um, a follow-up to this book I also recently found out that Caroline Kepnes is writing a book called Love which is the second book in this I'm not sure if it's a trilogy or a series but it follows Joe again so this should be really interesting I think it comes out later this year so I've added that to my TBR list as well and I will be reading that one as soon as it comes out so you guys tell me have you read you or do you plan to if you do please share um, that you've added it to your list and if you've read it let me know what you thought I'd love to hear your opinion on it um, I know that sometimes people usually hate or love these kind of books like it's want black or white you either love it or you don't and there's really not that much in between as far as ratings even on goodreads it's like love it hate it so let me know what you guys think just leave me a comment below or hit me up on twitter or whatever you guys know where to find me thank you so much for watching and until next time happy reading bye guys